I think what made me respond to it so swiftly, there was a certain warmth and a certain kindness about Aries' email that I just sensed. But I have to admit also, I have always been really inspired by Japanese culture. When I was living in Japan, I never thought of, yes, I'm Japanese, so I should know about Japanese culture. After 23 years in New York, it just spontaneously goes on the phrase came out to my mouth when I was cleaning my apartment. All of a sudden, yes, that was my happiest moment. And I felt, yes, we need party. Yeah, I can write music. That's the only thing I can do, you know, <laughs> write music and perform. The approach for this particular suite didn't change. Idea, sung, hummed, walked, felt good, played it. Yes, I did handwriting. I'm not a computer person. So with my pencil, I just kept writing, writing, humming, writing, play, writing for three months. Even when I was sleeping, I was humming. Yeah, that's a good idea. And I woke up and I wrote down. So after I finished, what do I do? I have to find a choir. I'm always most interested in what happens when music comes off of the page. To me, printed sheet music is always just a recipe. The recipe does not make the meal for you. And I think part of the reason this ended up working so well is because it was conceived in such an auditory way. And it was conceived, as Ari says, by singing. Singers can feel that in their body. With my trio, over the decades, we only rehearsed twice. I don't like to rehearse. I like to cook at the scene. I recorded me and Vince and choir, and I cooked Japanese food to Dave and Iko, and we just listened to it, ate, had a drink. Done, that was the rehearsal. It's not a vocal jazz piece in the way that we know vocal jazz in the choral community. I always assert that the choir is an instrument made of people, and the choir is my instrument. It feels like the chorus is now a member of the trio, like we're now a quartet, actually. So what's it like to not be the guy on the podium in front of everybody, but instead be in charge of only one instrument out of four? and be more like a collaborator. You might think that I would feel like an imposter, like kind of stepping into it, but I feel so honored that this instrument that I made, Coral Chameleon, was the instrument that she wanted to use. There is no ego involved in this because I think both of us understand that what we are doing collectively is something for the greater good of the world. From my very first interactions with Eddie, I knew that that was the case. Why wouldn't I leap at the opportunity to work on such a large piece?
that is so unique with a composer for whom it is both deeply personal and also not personal. The audience feels the empathy. They really do. They feel empathy and love in the music. It's a result of the air, the ethos about the collaboration. I think we succeeded. After the show, people came and they were smiling. They were not angry. <laughs> That's a good sign. There has been no room in this piece for anything except joy. There's nothing but joy. If we can create that experience through the music, that is wonderful. It's a simple thing. <laughs> <laughs>